Hey guys, welcome back if you're new here. My name is Joji and I do makeup tutorials and makeup reviews here on my channel. And in today's video, I will be showing you another Dior product. So I have four shades of lipstick right here. I do have the Forever Liquid Formula in shade 200 Forever Dream and 458 Forever Paris. And I also have the Dior Addict Lip Glow in Rosewood. So this is supposed to be a lip balm. And I also picked up the newest one that they have. This is the Dior Addict Shine Lipstick Intense Color in shade Nude Look. So I'm very excited on this color because I choose some for just daily lip care routine and also for summer, for spring. So if you are interested to see the colors, then just keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so let's start with the lip application. Are you guys excited? Because I am excited with some of these shades. I'm going to start with the Addict Lip Glow Rosewood. So this is supposed to be the lip balm as you see. This is the packaging. I really love it. It's so Dior and I love that it's this color. It's a silver. So most of the packaging actually comes with this navy blue packaging and a silver packaging. This is supposed to be their natural glow custom color reviving lip balm. Again in rosewood. I'm going to show you just the packaging of this product. It is super super cute you guys. I love that it's a transparent kind of plastic and you can see the lipstick case but at the same time it has that pink baby pink color to it. It is very pretty so this one has 3.2 grams on it and this is the way how the lipstick look like and let me just give you a swatch over here so that you guys can see before I apply. Ooh. You guys, this is very pretty. So that is the swatch. And let's start applying this. Okay, so nothing on my lips and now let's do it. Okay, so as you see, it gives me a tint or a hint of color right there. Oh wow, it smells really good. It smells like mint with vanilla in it. Oh my god. There it is. The shade Rose Wood. Wow, I really do love that shade. It reminds me of my Estee Lauder lip balm. That one is a bit more glossy or shiny though. This one is a bit toned down. It's more of a natural glow. That's what they were saying. And it is. And... I love that little pink hint of color on my lips if you want more natural. So that is the shade Rosewood from Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. Yes, I really like that. And the scent, for the first time, it doesn't smell like flower or something. And I like that because it smells relaxing. It feels relaxing, you guys. Just like having my coffee right here. It is very early for me. It's only about 9.30 a.m. and I did makeup, set up my lights and everything, and now I'm here for you guys. We're ready to do this. So yes, I love the lip balm, and let me just zip my coffee. Very, very nice. And now let's move on to the Dior Addict Shine Lipstick Intense Color. The reason why I picked this up because first of all, if you don't know guys, this one comes in a limited edition couture case which I'm going to show you. So these are the two limited edition fashion lipstick case that you can switch whenever you want with a Dior Addict Shine Lipstick Intense Color Hydrating Floral Lip Care. Such a long name you guys. Speaking about this limited edition case, aren't they so pretty? I love the pink and the denim. It, it goes really well together. Alright, Dior Addict Shine Lipstick Intense Color Hydrating Floral Lip Care. So I would assume that this one has a floral scent. Uh, this one has 3.2 grams and I'm in shade Nude Look. And this specific shade actually also comes with a Dior Rouge Lipstick. I do have the Nude uh, look shade in there, but sometimes I just like to have this natural glossy kind of lipstick and it's hydrating as well So let me swatch it for you guys 
I also picked this up too because I wanted to see the difference between this balm and the hydrating lipstick. I guess this is the first one was a lip balm so it's more of a skincare uh, on your lips and this one is intense lipstick but hydrating so it's really good because this is the the shade so you can see over there it's very nice it looks like more of a glossy creamy but at the same time it doesn't dry your lips so let's swipe this and see what the shade is oh that is really nice too it's more on a natural for me my lip tone as you can see i put lipstick there and there's nothing on top it's very nice i love it mm. wow you guys it feels butter it feels like so smooth silky and there you go so what i like about this a formula is it feels very soft but it's not super creamy and it's not super like glossy glossy out there that you feel like you, you can't wear it if you have a mask this one is basically almost have that glide feeling with oil very comfortable the scent is again it's similar to the dior rouge lipstick that they have floral scent i guess and i've learned to like it anyway because i just love the brand take a look at one more time and then we are going to jump with the forever liquid ones all right, you guys, so let's talk about the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid. This lipstick is supposed to be transfer proof matte liquid lipstick, ultra pigmented, weightless, long wear. And the shades that I have here is the 200 Forever Dream and 458 Forever Paris. They are just so pretty. And again, packaging is everything. And yes, yeah, so let's start applying this Forever Paris. I have it here and this lipstick by the way has 6 ml quantity each so let's start let's give it a little shake before we apply it and ooh, I really really love the applicator you guys so so pretty look at that I just love it and let's give you a swatch mmm that is a beautiful shade it's pink it's a pink shade you guys so I really like when I'm wearing sort of a pink especially in the spring it's a must-have color so let's apply it and see how it goes uh, the scent is not as strong as the floral scent so it's good so that is the first wipe that I just did and then I just rub my lips together. So if you want more of a natural application and just want like a little bit of lipstick or like a little bit of pink around your lips, then you're good to go. But if you want more of an opaque application, let's try it on and see the build up. Okay, you guys, that is the shade forever Paris and I love it oh my god this is so pretty look at that I think it's trying to dry down right now but the moment you apply them it's not as matte right away which is kind of interesting because a lot of liquid matte tend to kind of feel watery and it dries as you apply it around your lips this one it feels like a velvety feeling with a little bit of mousse but again it dries down to matte i can see it right now it's starting to so yes it has the comfort to kind of let you blend the product let you straighten up all the lines around your lips and just making sure that there's no gap there's no skin peeking through which is really really good i appreciate the formula and now it it does really look like a matte finish and I'm going to try it with to buff it on the tissue and see if it does transfer here it is so I have this one and I think it's mostly dry enough so we can try okay so there is the tissue with the lipstick and there is a little bit that came off I think it's around the middle of my lips and that one is probably not 
dry. Let me try again. Okay, so there's definitely some that came off, as you see over there, but it's not too much, and I would assume that the more this one sits on the lips, it will be more transfer proof, but I have to see that later because I'm still going out. The other thing that I want to call out on this lipstick design is the applicator, and it's very interesting. As you can see over here, there is a little bit of almost like a, a hollow in the middle, and on the other side, it's just a curvy sort of, there's no hollow. Mm -hmm. So I would say that they design it so that this side, you can tend to have the product. So while you're blending it, you have that deposit in there. And then on the other side is what you use to finish up everything so that it's even. And I really like that design. Take a look at one more time. This is the shade Forever Paris. All right, now let's jump into Forever Dream. This is my dream, so let me clean this up. I'll be right back. Okay, it's time to see the magic of the shade. Let me give you a swatch. This is very summery shade, but also fall, I would say. Yes, so it has almost like a red undertone with orange kind of brick brown, which is I always feel like I'm falling into this kind of shade but again the formula of this lipstick is very very nice so let's see okay. yeah so that is the first wipe as you can see it's quite dark and let me see if mm. oh wow that is super pigmented yes okay that is how it looks like so i honestly don't need more than what I applied already but if you really want your edges to be perfect and everything so you can use this really pointy applicator I like that it has that feature as well because when it comes to liquid lipstick you need to have that precise edges around your lips if you want to look polished and if you just want to overall you want it to look like your lips has like been you know you put attention into it then this tip right here is really really good so this is something that I would wear definitely a transition from summer to fall because it has that kind of vibe. Um, let me just build up a little bit and let you know my overall thought about all the lipstick color that I have here. All right, you guys, the shade Forever Dream. Yes, it's a dream. And just by applying this lipstick again, I am just so impressed with the formula. It's very, very comfortable. And it's something that I haven't probably seen because this one is actually remind me of the Makeup by Mario. It has that sort of a velvety um, very moosey effect but just a little bit more thinner mario has that creamy effect which is also different this one is thinner and it dries down matte like matte the scent is really good and the good thing with this is also it's a transfer of proof so that means it's probably going to last you all day and let me just give it a little bit more time and then I'm gonna zip my coffee so while we're we're waiting for that moment so I'm going to give you my final thought with all the lipstick shade that I try this so these are all the swatches that I showed you guys as you can see from light to medium and then dark medium and then darker so it's really good balance of color that I got going on here first of all the Dior Addict Lip Glow I really love it everything is perfect I love the scent the packaging reasonable price Dior the brand that I like and it's just overall such a pretty color and I do love the fact that it's actually a lip balm and you can use it if you know you have dry lips it's good but I wouldn't say that this is probably going to help if you really have a dry lips to begin with let's say it's chappy and you really want an intense hydration 
I don't think this one will do it. I have a similar formula to this and I just feel like it's not something that will cure the dryness, especially if you wear a lot of masks. So this is something that you just want to wear throughout the day to make sure that you're applying a hydration around your lips so that it doesn't dry. The formula of this, it's not super rich. So not the thing that will cure dryness, it's just to maintain hydration around your lips and I love that it has a tint of color. Okay, now let's talk about this uh, Dior Addict uh, Shine Lipstick Intense Color. Um, it's really, really good. It's very, very comfortable on the lips. I love the shades and the reason why I picked this up because I wanted to compare these two together. Now I can say that they are really different from each other and this one is more of a really like a lip balm. And this is a lipstick with a glossy effect. What I like about this one, it's not as glossy as I expected. So the other thing that I was telling you guys earlier that I want to mention with the formula is I wish they just made it just a tiny bit not as creamy because this one you have to be careful to not press too much when you're applying. Make sure that you don't have a lot of pressure and just kind of apply it really really soft on your lips. Don't press otherwise you are going to see the product breaking around the case so you don't want that because that is just messy especially when you have this case on. Like just be careful and that's the only thing that I would adjust with the formula. It's very very soft so I wish that just a little harder and then but at the same time it's creamy and hydrating. hydrating. Yes. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to the Forever Liquid. I really like the Forever Paris. It's so perfect. I don't have something like this pink. So it's actually not super pink. It has a little bit of that peachy tone that, that's peeking through it. Like I said earlier, the formula, I'm very impressed. I love it. The scent is good. Perfect. Packaging is beautiful. Love everything. And except this one, I expected just a tiny bit lighter because I feel like summer I was thinking to wear this one during the summer but now looking at it don't get me wrong it is a beautiful shade it's really good but I wish it was a bit more orangey towards that because it's summer summer right but anyway it's still pretty good overall a very good product I really love everything I would say it is worth it you know me guys like, I love Dior so now that's everything that's my thought and I hope you guys find this useful let's try this and let's drink a coffee and see how it looks like okay so I drink over there there was no stain and inside there's nothing so let me drink one more time again there's nothing and let me buff this okay Ooh, you guys this time look at that okay let's do it again oh and this time yes it is really clean so yes guys I have to wear mask later and I'm gonna try it and let you know give you an update later on but yes uh, that's everything I am done I'm good to go so I hope you enjoyed this video if you find it useful please give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe on my channel if you haven't yet leave a comment down below if you have any more questions it's going to help me overall with the algorithm so I would really appreciate all your support thank you guys for watching and I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys!